Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Nostalgia Unboxings. Today we are finally doing the giant special mystery monster hunter rise box here. And no one guessed it on the last video. I think a couple people made attempts, but no one actually guessed what was inside. So let's find out right now. If I can get into it, hopefully. I'm doing it from the side because it is very tall for my setup here so i think this is the best way for you guys to actually see me pulling it out so <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna try this there we go so so far i am as of this video at least i am like at the end of high rank which is basically the end of what is currently in the game <laughs> for monster hunter rise and i've been really enjoying myself i think a lot of the new monsters are so so well designed and they're so fun to fight like they're, like I don't know how else to describe it like it just like they designed it to be just so them to be so so fun they're so unique and different and I'm gonna try not to spoil them <laughs> hopefully for anyone who hasn't you know either, either gotten as far as me or just hasn't gotten the game yet I will not spoil any of like the actual designs or anything like that hopefully so no need to worry about that, but just know that they are very well designed, at least in my humble opinion. And I've just been having a blast with the game so far. And I cannot wait for all the new stuff that they're planning to add. I think actually, later this month, on the... Tw actually, it's probably going to be by the time the video is uploaded. I think on the 27th. So, I don't know. I don't remember what day it is today. <laughs> but on the 27th, I think Capcom actually said that they will be doing a like a new a video to present what was gonna happen like some of the new stuff that they're gonna add i guess like a teaser or re reveal trailer for like the upcoming dlc or not a dlc but like i don't know they're releasing an update patch essentially for the game to add more content because i think as a lot of people who already have the game know uh monster hunter rise is currently very much lacking in the end game department which i mean it is to be expected world was kind of the same way but, you know, fret not for they are actively adding more content in just like they did with the world. So, yeah, that is going to be a thing. And I'm pretty sure one of the monsters that they have revealed that is returning will be Camellios, who was absent from world, unfortunately, which really made me sad because I thought he would have fit in perfectly there. But he's coming to rise and I'm really excited to fight him again. He is one of my favorite monsters for sure. And enough putting this off. Yeah, I guess that, that that is your moment of suspense. Here we go. Pop oh my god, he's in a bag. <laughs> no, my poor puppy. Well, can anyone guess what it is yet? Probably not, because it looks like a giant purple blob of nothing. Oh my god, it expands. Holy crap! How did they fit it in here? Alright, let's let's throw this huge oh my gosh, that's really funny. They they compress this thing as much as possible to save on shipping. <laughs> it is it's so much bigger than the box. Hold on. I'm gonna remove this plastic and I'm gonna hopefully not suffocate myself in it, for I am a small child, not. So let's let's put it like this. Hold on, I actually want to get the box back up here just to kind of compare the size <laughs> if it's even possible. Look at that. Yeah, this is not fitting in a frame too well, is it? <laughs> but it is... It was really, really folded up in there to conserve space. I was actually almost worried when I got the box, because I'm like, huh. You know, like, if the, if the plushie itself is in a box, in its own box in there, like, from Capcom, it's going to be a really small plushie for what I paid for it and for what was advertised. But no, it is huge, and it is just as massive as I thought. This is actually... Well, it's definitely longer, I think, than the giant Mareep I have, who is a, named Meep. Meep the Mareep. He is, he is a good friend of mine. And, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. So yeah, it is, it is a Palamute with the, like, actual Monster Hunter design of it, I guess, since they are customizable in game, so you could you can make yours look like your own pooch or whatever else. I I actually designed my palico to kind of resemble a dog that we used to babysit way back when, named Max, which is information that matters nothing to you. But but yes, it is it is a good memory for me. So it's really nice to be able to you know hunt with like my best friend from way back in the day, who has unfortunately passed since then. Since you know. Unfortunately, we live in a world where dogs don't live as long as people, which I think is a loss for everyone involved here. 
But yes, look at it. It is a giant palico and it is his little sleepy eyes. So he was, you know, sleeping and curled up and it is super cute. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. So of course we got to show off the little toe beans here. Very cute. Oh, he has a tag. So we could look at that. This is very awkward to maneuver <laughs> due to its size. Monster Hunter Rise. Ooh, that was out of frame. Monster Hunter Rise, Capcom. A bunch of moon runes that I unfortunately cannot read as of yet. Maybe one day I will learn how to read. What is this? Kanji? Hiragana? Japanese text is very complicated. <laughs> or at least significantly more complicated than, you know, what I'm used to. Which I think is Cyrillic, right? I don't know. I don't know my words or letters. But here we go, E Capcom. And there's like a really tiny tag that is also like buried in the, into his fur here. I think it just says Capcom though. Yep. C Capcom. So that is that. So the actual source of this plushie is, well, actually I should go over the price first, which is, so I paid $200 in pre-order for this, just for the plushie, which, you know, seems like a lot probably to a layman, but I am also completely insane and paid $500 for a giant Mareep. So this is completely not out of the realm of possibilities for me. <laughs> so I did pay 200 bucks, and that was just a pre-order a long time ago, back when Rise was first announced, because this, com this came in the... As you saw in the tag, the E Capcom limited edition that is Japan exclusive. And almost every Monster Hunter does that, which is kind of really annoying where Japan gets like special bundles that don't get, um, you know, localized for the West. And this was part of one of them. And I saw it and I'm like, you know, it doesn't matter. I need to have it because it's amazing. <laughs> and of course, I love my plushies. So that is where that's from. It's Japan exclusive. And it was so it was a pre-order for like a limited edition thing from Japan. So it was two. I paid about 200 bucks. I think actually a little over if you include overseas shipping, which, you know, is always extremely expensive, too. And I actually recently looked it up about a, a, a week ago or so before filming this. Which, of course, varies, you know, so it'll probably be like a week and a half after the video is uploaded. And it was already going for $300. So, yeah, if you didn't hop on it, you are, you are already paying 100 bucks extra on top of it, which, of course, sucks. But I'm sure some of you have a mighty need already for this amazing plushie. And it, it came, so the bundle that it came in also comes with, like, two other things. But I didn't get the others because... Well, I'll describe them and then you'll kind of see why. So the other like kind of main thing was like a desk calendar with, I'm assuming, Monster Hunter themed art and stuff on all the little dates. So I didn't get that just because I, I don't really have an office. So I, I have nowhere to really put it where it will be of value. So it would just be kind of, you know, kind of junk. I mean, well, I guess one could describe most of the things I own as being junk that sits around doing nothing. But for me, the calendar would be especially something that kind of just sat around looking pretty. But it's just not something I wanted to dedicate space to. So that was one of the things. And the other thing was just a DLC pack here. I actually think I could bring it up on my phone. So let's... Here we go. So yeah, pardon my really, really busted up phone, but it is how I like to roll. So here's the DLC items that you actually could have gotten, which is like a golden retriever Palamute layered armor. And then I'm not really sure what the, the Palico one is supposed to be, like a very chubby house cat. Maybe almost a hamster. It's very strange, but those would be like the DLC items that were included. So yeah, I usually don't hop onto DLC stuff as much just because I end up not using a lot of it, especially like that stuff. I probably wouldn't have used because, you know, I made my palico to look like, you know, a dog that I actually had experience with in real life. Whereas, and he wasn't a golden retriever, so that doesn't fit me at all. <laughs> and would have probably ended up not being used anyway. So it would just been wasted money. But yes, here we have this giant Palamute, and it is amazing. It's got these big ridges on it, too. The fluffiness is very fluffy. Yeah. You know, probably not the best way to describe it, but I think it's an accurate way to describe it. <laughs> the fluffiness is fluffy. Look at his giant little pointy ears. 
And then his little, like, tufts of fur on the side. It is very adorable. He's got a plastic nose, too. Oh, he doesn't have nostrils! That's a little weird. <laughs> I would have... Oh, it, it, it definitely looks a little... Just a slightly weird that it doesn't have, like, at least little indents or something on the plastic to kind of give the illusion of nostrils. But, you know what? I'll let it slide because everything else on this seems so good so you know here's the tail and it's and it's all it's fluffy glory and like the detail on it which is you know what i'll give a pass on the nose just because the other random like fur detail is really good and they could have passed on this like look at that they had no reason to like add this little like you know extra tuft of fur here but they did it just to make it more accurate and you know so props to them for going that extra mile even if they didn't miss it in a couple smaller departments but like, oh, it's so cute. Look at it. All the little legs you could you could hold them and stuff, and they almost feel like little paws. This is this is fantastic. So 10 out of 10. I'm really, I'm really, really happy with this. It is oh, adorable. I cannot wait to pet it. Hold on. Wait. The hug test. It is a pass, I gotta say. It is It is definitely an A-plus in the hug department. So, for any of you wondering about that, he is a good boy. So, yeah, th th this is the thing. I'm not sure what else I can really say about it, being that it is just a giant plushie, but a great plushie nonetheless. Oh, I guess I could go over the little, his little neckerchief neckband thing with the Kamura, like, Ninja Star logos from the game. I think this is, yeah, this is the one that's part of, like, the default Palamute outfit, too, that you could see in-game, so it's kind of cool, and I think it's, but yeah, it is removable, so you could use it for cosplay purposes and stuff, maybe put it on your actual dog if you felt like it, so there is some use there, which is pretty cool, you know, it's just a little extra thing, I suppose, if you don't want it to be on the actual plushie itself for whatever reason. Like, I'm almost positive it is removable. Yeah, it's definitely removable. It's actually tied on there properly, which is... Oh, wait. Uh-oh. Oh, never mind. It appears to be stitched. But I, I suppose that is something you could just remove if you really wanted to. But it, it's stitched to, like, this ridge here. And I, I think nowhere else, though. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's just stitched to hold on to, I guess, not maybe fall off or something on this little ridge up here. So, yeah, you, you could definitely remove that if you want to. I don't think that'll be too much trouble. I personally be keeping it on, though. But yeah, so that has been the Monster Hunter Rise Palamute Special Japanese Limited Edition plushy thing unboxing and reaction or whatever. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. And if you did, please do like, comment, and subscribe because that helps out the channel tremendously. And if you did like the video, just, you know, let me know what you think. Did you also opt for this? Did you even know that this was part of, like, one of the things that was happening with Monster Hunter Rise, that they had these available, at least to Japan? Are you gonna jump out and get one right now <laughs> for the extra hundred bucks anyway, because it's that awesome? Yeah, let me know. I'd be very interested to hear about all that. And how you're just enjoying the game, because I'm having a ton of fun. And I'm actually gonna go back and play it as soon as I'm done filming this right now. <laughs> So yeah, guys, thank you so much. And I try to upload a new video every Wednesday, so that is when you should tune in. And yeah, see you next time, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>